So guys, uh, this is Jared, I brought up the World Trade Fish, you can see I'm playing on December, and this is the key feature I wanted you guys to see, and which I hope the Blizzard devs consider putting in Diablo 4. As you can see, you have this little tab, where the skills you've selected in this game, it's, it's a bit different, um, you work with runes and stuff, but it's basically the same system, the skills you select um, come on the tab at the bottom, and so, as you can see, there's only five, but if you press control, you can switch to a, you can switch to a new row. So what I would like to see if the devs could put in three, four, maybe three rows or four rows where you can have different skills. The Diablo 4 is like the skills you get especially from items. Um, and then you can play with all of them by just switching and then pressing the number keys. As you can see, um, I have this. I have the shield on the next row, um, a few passes. That way you can actually play, yeah, like the passes you cast lightning. And so with that, you have more skills, right? Um, and then they have another feature which I love. If you right click on your main primary attack, then, and it's a second, you can just hit the the cinema like this, and the sorcerer maybe, um, in Diablo 4, I don't know how it would work, because um, here you also have auto class in your potion, so you just focus on playing, it's, it's uh, I don't know, maybe it's anti-gaming, but for an ARPG it's very useful, so if you left click on it, but then you have to tell you and stuff, but um, like if I stand still now, it doesn't pass, oh. sorry, but if you collect it, like that, as long as you have mana, if you don't have money, you won't get part of it, it takes it back. And these are the features I would love to see if they have to bring into the Diablo 4. Now, thank you for watching guys, goodbye. Your field stabilized.